friends, Kim from Stamping and Perfection. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here playing with the assorted Christmas leaves die die set from Scrappy Tails Crafts. And this is a newly released set. And you know how much I've, if you watch my videos, you know how much I've used the assorted leaves set that came out in the spring. So I was very, very excited to see this in the collection that um, Sabrina released for Scrappy Tails Crafts for August and I, I have so many ideas for this and every technique that I've shown you in my videos for using the assorted leaves dies can be used for this also. Today I just wanted to play with colored cardstock and these fabulous die cuts. So what I decided I would do, I pulled out a bunch of greens, a bunch of browns. You can see there are um, layered acorns. There's lots of leaves, lots of pine branches, some bare branches. Like this is just wonderful. So I've got lots of browns, lots of greens. I've got a red, an orange, a yellow, and I went ahead and die cut all of these. So I ended up with a stack, a pile of all of these things, and I decided that um, the ones that look like little branches with berries, I decided to add some, I'm, this is actually bubblegum Nouveau drops that I'm adding to those little round bits at the end of these stems. I would have added red if I had had some red available, but I did not have any red. Um, and I love, 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 love this bubblegum color. It would have been a bit more wintry or, or a bit more Christmassy if I had had the red, but I really like the way this bubblegum color came out. And um, so I'm just doing that. And then when you put these on, like these are self-leveling and I'm really, like I practiced for a couple minutes on scrap paper because some of those little, dots of these Nouveau drops have to be pretty small. Um, so I practiced that controlling the amount of drop I was actually putting on. So I'm going to slide these onto my board that I have sitting next to me. It's really a cutting board, but it works great for stuff like this. So I'll just like put that on the couch seat. I'm the only one here, so nobody's going to sit on that. And I'll let that dry for at least an hour. So all of my card bases, I have four cards to share today. All of my card bases are cut out of craft cardstock. They are cut at four and a quarter by 11. I scored them at five and a half. And my card toppers are out of a vanilla colored paper. So they're not white. They're cut at four by five and a quarter. So I'm starting with, I think this is my favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite here, but this is gonna be my favorite die from this set. And the potential for Christmas cards that this is going to make, I love. Now, I did need to adjust my, when I die cut this out, I was using my little um, mini die cutter. And I needed to add a sheet of copy paper. Like, I just trimmed it down to three inches wide because that's all that will fit through. All these dies fit through my mini die cutter by the way which is a th it has a three inch plate so it's three inches wide and um, I had to put an extra sheet of copy paper to act as a shim for this one to get it cut and I probably rolled it through my machine three times to get it to completely cut so uh, I, I can't wait to make more cards with this that's all I have to say so I'm just putting some art glitter glue and I'm putting a lot of art glitter glue on this because I want these little bits to stick down and the, my Christmas cards will be sent through the mail so I don't want you know somebody to open a card and it'll catch on the envelope and rip it off so I'm being really careful. I'll just take my scissors and trim off the little bits that are hanging off the edge which isn't really very much but I just want to trim it to the size of the card and if you need it to sit for a while, you can put one of your larger clear blocks on it and let it sit for a couple of minutes and that will adhere it down really well. So I'm pulling out the acorn bits. Now I used a really 
a suede color of brown for the top piece and a dark chocolate brown for the bottom piece and again I'm adding and there's two different size um, pine cones here I I'll keep wanting to say acorns these are pine cones and um, there's a larger one and a smaller one so I'll use um, one of one size and two of the other so I add three all together and I love the way these peek out and I decided I would add some red crown jewel gems just to finish it off and I put five on there because I love the color so I'm gonna like glue those down with my art glitter glue and um, that will complete the card except for the sentiment and I decided that I would wait to do all the sentiments at the same time. So my second card, I used one of the bare branches. This one doesn't have the little like round ends um, in like showing that there's a um, berry or something on the end. So I decided to use this like for a fall card and you can see how pretty the leaves in here are cut from fall colors so I'm just kind of placing those around and I will glue those down with that same art glitter glue and you can see I'm using my um, these are tweezers where you pinch them grab what you need let go and it holds on to I think they're called reverse tweezers and I really like these tweezers for this kind of thing because it makes it so much easier and a little bit of practice with your tweezers and you know you can do so much with those tools um, especially if you have sore joints so for this one I used some gold crown jewel gems and they're like a yellowy gold color and I just really am loving the whole rhinestone coming back thing here and again I will glue those down with my art glitter glue and up, I'll put this card aside too because I'm not quite sure what sentiment I want to put on that. And then this one I fussed with for a while to decide what I was going to do. But again, I really wanted to make a fall card because I love fall cards. And I just want to make a pile of leaves below that bare branch. And this is a slightly different bare branch. At least it looks like a bare branch to me. It could be. So this could be like a pine branch, I suppose, but I took this to be a bare branch and I did cut it out of greens and it looks pretty as a out of green also. But I'm gonna use the, the craft one and then I'm just going to make a pile of leaves at the bottom. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just going to, and again, using my tweezers, trying to like place them in different directions, and I layered them on top of each other and I like this actually it's different and you know so far I haven't done any stamping I'm using this fabulous die set and I really just wanted to use the rest of these pine boughs that I die cut and for these I just put a little glue on the end toward the corner and I'm going to use this big fabulous one and like there's so many ways to use this but oh, love 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 and I die cut this out of uh, a light brown color this is like a suede brown and I love the the Nouveau drops on there imagine any color yellow bright yellow would be pretty gold and I added a, a few red crown jewel gems to this one because I did want to get some red in there this is going to be a Christmas one but you know you could make those make it anything you want it doesn't have to be Christmas it would be a great masculine birthday card if you know use a different color use whatever color of Nouveau drops you have if you're like me you have a bunch of those in your stash now you can see all those bits I have left over they're going in my cup and I will have those to actually um, create a lot more cards with this these little die cuts went a long way so I decided to use the Christmas blessings stamp set that came from the Cardinal Blessings stamp set. Now that was released in um, in October 2020, I think. So that was one of the original releases from Scrappy Tales Crafts. But I do love this sentiment. 
um, this sentiment is from the Sweet Bear stamp set, and it actually says, just a little reminder that you are loved. And I'll pull all these cards out again so that you can actually see them. And I'm going to use this one for the um, other fall card. I think it's a wonderful sentiment. And I'm stamping, just stamping it in black. I could have stamped it in brown, but I decided to go with black because I just like black sentiments. And I do want to add a little splatter. So I pulled out some brown ink. This is icing on the cake from Catherine Pooler. Spritzed it with water. You can see I did this on my clear block. And um, then I just splattered it onto the cards. And I'm going to add some to all the cards. Not too much. Trying not to overdo it. Because you know there's that fine line between enough splatter and way too much splatter. So, you know, I try to be careful. And then I'm just going to clean it up and I'll pull these cards out so you can see again. These were pretty quick to make. Once the die cutting was done, putting them together was quick and easy. And if I'd had more card bases made, I would have definitely kept going because I had so many good bits there. So I am going to put all the links to these things below and I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not subscribed. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and I would also love for you to click my affiliate links just to check out what is in the Scrappy Tales craft store. If you have not discovered this little store, uh, please click my links below. That really helps me out. It will let Sabrina know that you like what I'm making with her stuff and um, she will continue working with me, which really helps me whether you buy anything or not. So thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful day. Enjoy your browsing in the store.